Can Fisher Panel generators be connected in parallel? Stay tuned if you want to find out more about I-series generators and X-series generators and how we can connect them in parallel for you to improve your power system on your yacht. Welcome to the Fisher Panda channel. My name is Philip Hamilton Wilkes. I work in the marketing department. Today, I am at the Fisher Panda headquarters in Germany. So what can you do to connect two generators in parallel? This can provide many advantages on board your yacht. Today, I'm gonna to talk about two concepts, that is load sharing and load switching and how you can achieve these with your Fisher Panda generators. Why would we want to connect two generators in parallel? We connect two generators in parallel to achieve two main purposes, that is load switching and load sharing. Load sharing allows us to combine the power of both generators and load switching allows us to transfer the load from one generator to the other without interrupting the power supply. Load sharing allows us to combine the power of two generators in load switching, we start one generator and apply the load to this. Then we start the second generator. The generators are synchronized. Once synchronization has started, both generators use their combined power and this is called load sharing. Then the first generator can be turned off and the load can be transferred to the second generator. This is called load switching. Load switching allows us to use the generators equally. So we can use one generator for a while, transfer the load to the second generator, use that generator, and both generators are having the same amount of operational time. We can also use load switching to turn off one generator and carry out any maintenance that might be required. So the first main advantage you have of operating two generators on board your yacht in parallel is that you have a backup system, the redundancy of being able to use one generator if the other one is not able to operate for any reason. The second advantage is to do with the weight distribution on your yacht. You might not be able to install a single large generator in the middle of the yacht line because this space has already been occupied by the main engine. What you can do then is install two smaller generators on either side. This means the weight is equally distributed throughout the yacht. It also makes sense to install parallel generators in a multi-hull because you can install a smaller generator in each hull. Connecting Fisher Panda generators in parallel. Fisher Panda builds two types of generators that produce alternating current. The first type of generator is the X-series generators. These are regulated synchronous generators. To connect them in parallel, a module is required. This module is available from Fisher Panda. You can use this to simply connect both generators together and then you can set the generators in parallel mode using the digital display. The second type of Fisher Panda generators that can be connected in parallel are the i-series generators. These are variable speed generators using inverter technology. With the Fisher Panda i-series generators, it's possible to even connect three generators together in parallel. This allows much more flexibility for your system planning. Because the output power of the Fisher Panda i-series generators is provided from the inverter, this allows you to connect different rated generators together in your system. But you do need to be aware that if you're connecting Fisher Panda i-series generators in parallel, you're required to use parallel capable inverters. You do need to be aware that if you're connecting two different i-series generators together, that if you want to do load switching, that both generators are able to supply enough power to your loads when you're carrying out load switching. If you do connect two different i-series generators together, you can combine their power for load sharing. If you have an application that requires both generators to be operating in parallel, you can use additional PLCs, which are programmable logic controllers, to set up the system so that when this, op this application is being started, that both generators are started and running in parallel. So as always, please consult your Fisher Panda generator manual for more information about how you can operate your generators in parallel. This will provide you with information that you need to know. You cannot connect the standard Fisher Panda i-series generators in parallel if you have not got parallel capable inverters. So how can you tell if your Fisher Panda i-series generator is capable of being operated in parallel? It's quite easy. You can look on the back of the inverter housing. There is a socket for a synchronization cable. The cable is used to connect the inverters together in a parallel setup. So on larger yachts, you can expand the system using Fisher Panda i-series generators. You can connect three generators in parallel. Your typical system could involve 
two similarly sized generators for your main applications which will be running during the day and a smaller third generator can be used at night as a night generator and this will provide you with the lower power requirements that are usually required during the nighttime periods. So that concludes my video. I hope this has given you an insight about how you can connect Fisher Panda generators in parallel and what possibilities this will give you for your system planning. If you want any more information, please do not hesitate to contact us or a sales representative at Fisher from Fisher Panda. If you like this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. That would be very appreciative. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.